Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Therapeutic Yoga today. We're going to have a fun one today. Our class to diet today is focusing on the lower abdomen. And so here's the deal. Here are my goals for today's class. For those of you at home that are joining me for this class, and you might have a little bit of extra tissue here, we're going to talk about and work on ways that you can kind of get that tissue mobile. So a lot of us, as we're aging, we tend to hold fat adipose tissue in this lower abdomen area merely because of imbalances in hormones. But oftentimes, if you can get the fascia, so we're going to be working on something called fascia today in our yoga class. If we can get all of the restrictions of the fascia gone, you can improve the flexibility of your hip flexors and wait for it, you can strengthen what is called the transversus abdominis or your lower abdominal muscle and your pelvic floor. You can actually completely reduce the look of that excess tissue area that some of us have down there. So that's our focus for today. From a yoga perspective, the bottom or the base here within our pelvis is where we store a lot of our intrinsic energy. Uh, and so a lot of times kind of really opening up, strengthening, stabilizing through this area from a yogic perspective can help you feel more rooted, more stable, more safe. safe. So that's kind of our intention for today's class. So it's all about right here. So to get started for today's class, what we're going to do is get into a nice seated weight bearing but unsupported posture, meaning there's no support to our back. You'll need a bolster for that. If you do not have a bolster at home, um, a couple of really firm pillows will work for you today. We're going to be using the bolster for multiple yoga poses or stretches or techniques. So you will need something to put your pelvis on. All right. So let's get ourselves in the seated position. Easy pose if you can take it. If you've got really tight hips and you're not so fancy on the easy pose, you can straddle your bolster, or if you wanted to, you could just gently bring your legs out into a straight uh, leg bend with your knees slightly bent so there's no tension through the hamstrings. Whatever suits your fancy there, sit nice and tall. Make sure that you've got excursion of your pelvis motion in both directions so you're not sitting at an end range into your back or into your hips. Let's just get our shoulder blades kind of sitting into the right position today on our rib cage. Take our hands to the center of our heart. Take a nice deep inhale, lift the arms all the way up, turn the palms, and then as you exhale, pull those shoulder blades back and down, drop those elbows back and down, pull those arms back, give a squeeze to those shoulder blades. Now, as you're squeezing to those shoulder blades, just slowly unrotate your arms, but don't let go of the tension of the shoulder blades just yet. Make sure you have weight through your feet, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Very nice. Now, we are going to stay here and really work on making sure each and every one of us fully embraces a great abdominal or a diaphragmatic breath. So take your right hand, find your belly button, and kind of place your pinky area, your pinky finger sign it sort of in that belly button area. Then with your left hand, if you want, you can just gently take it over your sternum or your chest bone. And then in this position, if you wanna close your eyes to kind of be more aware of kinesthetically what your hands are doing, just kind of give a little bit of compression to your right hand. So kind of give your diaphragm something to resist and breathe into. So take a slow, deep inhale into your right hand. And then as you exhale through the nose, please, just kind of let the belly soften and relax. Don't contract the muscles so much yet to get that air out. Now this time, take that deep inhale. And as you inhale, keep expanding the belly, but don't change the position of your spine. And then slowly exhaling, letting the air come out gently and relaxed, slower than your inhale. And then let's do that three more times. Nice deep inhale, focus on the air coming straight into that right palm. 
And then as you exhale, just gently allowing yourself to let that exhale slowly happen as the belly sinks back inward, but not with a strong contraction. Let's do one more time. Nice deep inhale in. And then slowly exhaling, letting that air gently, gently, gently come out. You've got it. All right, place your left hand on your bolster for a second. Just a little tiny bit of opening through our rib cage. We're not gonna focus on it, but figured let's do that real quick in sitting before we hit the mat. So take your right hand, bring it up and over your head today. Have that right elbow pointed upwards towards the ceiling if you can. Now, take an inhale, lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, lengthen your arm upwards, elbow as high to the ceiling as you can. And then as you exhale, just let yourself bend your left elbow inside, bend over. Now, can you sit a little bit more into your right sit bone? Take a deep inhale, reach that right elbow up. And then as you exhale, slowly sit into that right sit bone, side bend to the left. Stay right there. Nice deep inhale into that belly. Now, can you do it? And then exhaling out. Inhale, lift the elbow all the way up and then exhale, dropping that hand down. All right, let's repeat that on the opposite side. So right hand on the bolster, take that left hand, kind of bring it up and over. Now on that inhale, lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck, lengthen that arm, reach that elbow up. And then on the exhale, side bend over to the right. Sit into that left sit bone so you can get that opening all the way into your low back. Nice deep inhale, reaching high with that left elbow. And then as you exhale, maybe even bending that right elbow a bit more, but sitting into that left sit bone. Deep belly breath right here. Deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Inhaling, lifting the elbow back up and then exhaling, dropping the elbow down. Very nice. Now, turning yourself so that you've got yourself in hands and knees. And then once you're in hands and knees, place your bolster so that it's somewhere near the center of your mat for a moment. And once you have yourself in that position, taking your hands up and over to the front side of that bolster, checking in with your knees, that your knees are hip distance. And once you have your knees hip distance, kind of look back to make sure that your heels and your feet kind of stack up with your knees and your hips. Take those knees and hips and make sure they're stacking up and have those wrists and elbows directly underneath the shoulders. Index fingers are pointed straight forward. Thumbs, pull them on inward. Outer three fingers are kind of splayed out to the side, but there's no major weight on them. Now lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Hold yourself right here. Don't let your spine move. So tabletop position. In tabletop position, can you dissociate and use that diaphragm? So take an inhale in, let the belly sink, but don't move the spine. And then as you exhale out this time, can you use your abdominal muscles to pull your belly up and in, but don't move the spine? Let's try that two more times. Inhale belly sinks, but you don't move the spine, not even the tailbone. And then as you exhale, you pull that belly up and in, but don't move that spine. You've got it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do one more time. Lengthen that neck, settle that chin, gaze at those thumbs. Inhale, let that belly sink downward. And then as you exhale, pull that belly up and in. Very nice. Now slowly start to inhale, sink the belly, sink the spine, lift the tailbone, shoulder blades back, lengthen the neck and look upward. And then as you exhale, pull the belly in first, arch the back, tuck the tailbone, spread the shoulder blades, lengthen the neck, chin to chest, look at your belly button. Two more times, please. Inhale, sink the belly, sink the spine, lift the tailbone, shoulder blades back, lengthen the neck and look upward. And then exhaling, tucking the tailbone under, arching that back, pull that belly button in and that exhale, spread the shoulder blades, chin to chest, look at your belly button. Very good. One more time, I think. Inhale, sink the belly, sink the spine, lift the tailbone, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen the neck and look upward. And then as you exhale, pull that belly up and in, arch the back, tuck the tailbone under, spread that shoulder blades, chin to chest, look into that belly button. Now, can you stay here and walk your hands onto your bolster or pillow, 
stay tucking that tailbone under, keep those abdominals tucked in, but settle your heels and your sit bones to one another. And then slowly with normal breathing, let the crown of your head come down onto your bolster. Now rest yourself with the crown of your head onto your bolster. Allow yourself to take a nice deep inhale here. And an exhale. Now, can you get that belly breath as deep down as you can into that pelvic floor? Give it a try. Deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. Very nice. Now, slowly allow yourself to bring your entire leg and your entire pelvis up onto the bolster. So we're gonna just do a little bit of opening through the front of the hip flexors, but more the outside of the hip flexors before we start tackling that lower abdominal. We have four hip flexors. We need to make sure that they are all mobile if we wanna fully get good contraction of our lower abdominal muscles. So keep the left knee in line with the center of your bolster. Make sure you feel that your left hip bone is touching that bolster. Feel that you have yourself to the middle or to the bottom side of your bolster. Once you have yourself there, allow yourself to walk your hands down onto your mat. Slowly come down onto your left shoulder. You can rest your left arm out to the front if you want. Gently let your head rest downward into an inversion, but lengthen your neck and settle your chin. Now, don't rotate your head any if you are somebody at home that might have some vestibular issues. And then in this position today, remember it's all about that lower abdomen. I want you to take your hand into the right lower abdominal area. I want you to grab what belly you can. So if you've got none, that's fine. Just kind of put your hand there and kind of pull the belly up towards your chest. If you've got something to grab, I want you to grab it. And then take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, start to slide that leg outward on the floor. Now, you may not get your heel to stay touching the floor. The heel may be up in the air some, that's okay. You may not get your leg straight because you're pulling on that abdom abdominal tissue, particularly if you've got any scars there, that's okay. But keep just kind of gently holding that belly tissue. If you're feeling burning, you've got what we are focusing on doing today. So keep a hold of that tissue and take another inhale and now on the exhale can you just gently attempt to tuck the tailbone under a little bit you don't probably have much movement here but do the best you can so keep pulling that belly tissue upward all right let's find a breath here nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out Nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. And then release the hand from the belly. Take an inhale, pull that right leg back in and then on your exhale, right hand, left elbow, push yourself back up into a seated position. And let's do it all over again on the opposite side. So just simply flip yourself on your bolster if you can. Have yourself now that the left leg bone, I mean, sorry, right leg bone is on the bolster. Make sure that you can feel that the entire right hip bone is centered on the bolster so that you're not gonna kind of fall off the top of it when you fall, when you come down. And then in this position, just slowly lower yourself down onto your right elbow, right shoulder until you're now in a right inversion. Again, for those of you that are vestibular or have any sort of vertigo issues at home, being in an inversion is not necessarily bad, but if you start to add rotation to that, things can get a little scary. So just make sure you don't look up or look down with your head in your inversion if that is a problem that you have at home. All right, now in this position, right arm can be resting out into the front. You can have it anywhere you like it, but your left arm has a job today. So what we're gonna do is place that left hand in that left belly area, grab a hold of what you've got for tissue, and just gently pull that tissue upward towards your chest area. 
Now that you've got that, take a deep inhale. And then with that left leg on the exhale, start to slide that left leg down and out. So if you feel really good, nice burning underneath your fingers, you are doing the magic of what we're focusing on today. And that is opening up any sort of restrictions you might have through your lower abdomen. If you cannot get your foot down to the floor, do not fret. It's okay if your leg is up in the air. If you cannot get your leg straight, do not fret. It's okay. It just means that we're doing this to really help hip flexors that you really need help with. All right, we've got ourselves in the position we need to be in. Now, can you take that deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out? Deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Very nice. Slowly inhale, bring that left leg back up and in, right hand, uh, right elbow, left hand. Exhale, push yourself back up into a seated position. Okay, now we are still going to be using the bolster and we're going to stay on the bolster on our back for quite some time. So the easiest way to have your pelvis centered on a bolster is to bring your hips right to the very front corner of your bolster. Allow yourself to lay back down on that same side and then using the strength of your trunk and your hips, rotate yourself over onto your back. So once you're there, you can check in. Do you feel like your waistband of your pants or shorts feels like it's about at the top of the bolster? You can kind of have your knees up in the air right now just so there's no tension on anything as we get everything kind of aligned. Have your bolster so that you feel like you're not sliding off the front of it. So if it's too far down, grab the handles of it. If you've got pillows, just grab the corners of those pillows and pull them up. All right, now in this position, we're gonna start with working through those belly fascial tissues again. Now, let me mention something real quickly here. If you've got scars in your lower abdominal, like C-section scars or appendix scars or something like that, this is an absolute necessary thing for you to do. But what I want you to understand is when you're working through the soft tissues of your abdomen, through the skin, through the fascia, through the abdominals, down to our bladder and our colon and all of that good stuff that's there, you want to feel burning. You don't want to feel sharp symptoms. Oftentimes sharp symptoms tell us that you're kind of irritating a nerve a little bit or a tissue that doesn't like to be irritated. So as we go through the remainder of this class, as you're working on your own abdomen, Never have sharp pains, only the sensation of burning of tissues starting to make changes. All right, now that I've said my little spiel, let's take your right knee to your chest for a moment and just take your left foot and place it on the floor. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, make sure your shoulder blades are back and down and then take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, pull your right knee up and into your chest. Good, stay here for a moment. Let's do two deep diaphragmatic breaths. Deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Holding the right leg, allowing that left leg to come all the way back up and then letting the right foot come down to the floor. Hands around the left shoulder bone, take a nice deep inhale here and on the exhale, pull that left knee into your chest. All right, holding everything here. Check in that your right knee hasn't fallen out to the side. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. And again, nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Very nice. Pull that right knee up, match it to the left, hands around both shin bones this time. Nice deep inhale into the belly, and then as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Beautiful inversion for all of your guts. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, 
Hold yourself here, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. And let's do one more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. All right. So just gently stack your knees on top of your hips with your left hand and your left knee. You can just kind of hold one on top of the other just so that it's supported in that position. That's where the left leg is gonna stay for now. Right hand, come on in and here and kind of feel where your hip pointer is. Come to the inside of that hip pointer and kind of start to pull that tissue upwards towards your chest. Once you have that tissue pulled up towards your chest area, take an inhale in, and then as you exhale, step your foot down to the floor. Now, if you already feel pulling, well, today is the class for you. If you don't feel much pulling where your hand is yet, you likely will with step two. So take a nice deep inhale here, and then on an exhale, try to slide the leg slowly as you hold that tissue of your abdomen. How straight can you get your knee? Can you feel the burning or the pull in that lower abdomen on the right side? Maintain yourself in this position. Take a deep inhale into that belly, ladies and gentlemen. And then exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale in. And then exhaling out. Beautiful. Kind of releasing the tissue of the right hand. Now, taking the right hand to join the left knee, Take a nice deep inhale now, and on the exhale, pull the left knee to your chest. If your left leg lifted up, that means your left hip, right hip flexor, sorry, right leg, right hip flexors are tight. So now let's really engage our right glutes and do a great stretch through these hip flexors. So take a nice deep inhale here, straighten that knee as much as you can on that right side, and as you exhale, can you try to push that heel to the floor, squeeze your glutes and get that knee as straight as you can. Staying right here, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out, beautiful, slide that right foot back up and then gently bring the right knee to the chest. Now, you're not gonna see a lot of what I'm doing with my left hand because it's going to be blocked by my right leg, but it's the exact same thing we just did on the right side. So take your right hand, place the right hand onto the left knee just to kind of secure that leg in about a 90 degree position. Left hand comes in and scoops up and holds that abdominal tissue on the left side. Take a deep inhale here and on the exhale, just bring your foot down towards the floor. You may already feel pulling and tension where your hand is. Beautiful, that's why we're doing it. Staying here, take a deep inhale into your belly. And then as you exhale, can you slide that leg all the way down and feel that burning where your hand is? Feel that burning where that tissue is. Can you get your leg as straight as possible? Now, appreciate that burning in that lower abdomen area. Let's do those two abdominal breaths. Nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out, make sure your neck is long and your chin is gently tucked. Let's do one more breath. Nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. Releasing the left hand from the belly taking the left hand to join the right hand on the right knee. Nice deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. If the left knee bends, the left leg lifts, congratulations. You have lots of good tightness through your left hip flexors. We are doing the right thing for you today. So holding that right knee to your chest, take that deep inhale, straighten that left leg, as you exhale, engage those left glutes and push that leg down into the floor as hard as you can. Holding that glute engagement, pushing that straight leg down. Give me a nice deep inhale here. 
and an exhale. One more time, nice deep inhale and an exhale, beautiful job. Inhale, slide that leg back up, get your foot flat and then slowly bring your left knee to your chest. Now, allow yourself to gently keep your knees to your chest, hands around both shin bones here. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Make sure that you kind of haven't fallen off the front of your bolster. So if you have, just kind of shimmy yourself back up again. Just gently close your eyes and rest your tongue to the roof of your mouth and take a deep inhale into your belly here. And then as you exhale, let that go. Try that breath again for me one more time. Deep inhale in. And then exhaling out. Holding here for me. All right. Now, let's do a little tiny bit of abdominal strengthening in this beautiful inversion that we are in before we change positions and get ourselves flat on the floor. So in the position that you're in right now, check in that your entire pelvis feels like it's on the bolster. Then take your knees and stack your knees over your hips and then bring them just slightly closer to your chest than your hips. Let your knees be relaxed, but take your toes and point them up towards the ceiling. Take your hands and place your hands on the front of your thighs. Take a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, gently push the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands, and then try to pull your hands upwards towards the ceiling as you try to lift your legs upward, feeling that beautiful shaking beginning to happen in your lower abdominal. And that's a little bit of a connection between those hip flexors we just worked on lengthening and that lower abdominal muscle. Now, could you keep lightly pushing legs into hands and hands into legs and lifting those arms upward as you attempt to lift those legs? And then can you deeply inhale into your belly and exhaling out? Let's do that again. Nice deep inhale in and exhale out beautiful one more breath ladies and gentlemen inhale in and exhale out excellent and then gently bring your knees to your chest and rest yourself here one more deep inhale into the belly and then exhaling out all right now what we want to do is get rid of our bolster, but we don't want to necessarily change our position. So the easy thing to do is kind of shimmy your bolster down until you can kind of get a hold of it with your feet, and then just kind of push your bolster down off the end of your mat. I'm going to point my toes down as far as I can and really push mine out of the way. You are done with your bolster for the rest of the class. So have yourself staying laying into that nice good resting position with your feet flat about hip distance apart knees are upwards so that they're also about hip distance apart now right leg is going to stay bent left leg straighten your left leg if you can take a look down and see that your knee your hip and your foot are in alignment now here's what i want you to do take your left hand place it to your left hip pointer right hand right leg you're gonna take that right hand and grab a hold of that soft tissue of your abdomen again. Then with your right leg, as you inhale, hold the knee here. Then as you exhale, slowly let the leg fall out to the side. If you've got a lot of restrictions through that abdominal area, from scars, just from tight pant wear, from tension, this is going to feel really, really good. Don't let the pelvis lift to get the knee to the floor. So let the left hand guide the pelvis to stay still. All right, as you hold those tissues up, what we're going to do is inhale and lift the leg up. And as you exhale, let that leg fall down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift that leg up. Exhale, let that leg come down. 
And one more time, inhaling, lifting that leg up and exhaling, letting that leg come down. Very nice. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Once it's there, release your right hand, slide your left leg up and release your right foot down to the floor. Now, right hand to the right pelvis bone, left hand to those left abdominal tissues. Make sure the pelvis doesn't move here. Take it, inhale, and as you exhale, let your left knee fall out to the side. Feel any tension that might be present in those left abdominal tissues. Let's go through that movement here. So inhale, lift the knee up. As you exhale, pulling the tissues up towards the chest as the knee falls out. Inhaling up. Exhaling as it comes out to the side. Keep your neck long, your chin relaxed. And one more time, inhaling, lifting, and exhaling and relaxing it out to the side. Beautiful. Inhale, lift that leg back up. Right leg, exhale, bring it back up. Now, let's do both together. So bring your feet together. Take your hands and kind of grab a hold of that abdominal tissue and pull it straight on up towards your chest. Both knees together here. Take a nice deep inhale. And then on the exhale, let the knees fall out to the side as the bottoms of your feet join one another. Three times, just like we did on each side. So inhale, bring the knees up. And exhale, let the knees fall out. Supta Baddha Konasana here. Inhale, lifting the knees up. Exhaling, letting them come out to the side. Keep pulling that abdominal tissue towards your chest. Last time, inhaling up and exhaling, letting the knees fall out. Now keep the palms or the bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees gently fall out and then start to release the tissue of the abdomen. Rest your hands over those hip pointers. Elbows are relaxed for a minute. Make sure your neck is long and your chin is tucked. Let's do two really good diaphragmatic breaths into this belly and lower abdomen area. So take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time. Nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Beautiful, slowly inhaling, bringing the knees back upward. And then as you exhale, just finding that feet, those hip distance apart again. All right, now we're gonna be working through that pelvic tilt. So here's what I want you to think. We're gonna be working on pulling the tissue up as we tilt our pelvis, flatten our back but then we're going to hold the tissue up as we try to arch our back and pull the pelvis towards its tilt position. So we're going to focus on inhaling. As you exhale, you're going to tuck, pull the belly up all the way up, really pull it guys. Now, can you inhale and attempt to arch your back and really lift your back? Can you feel that burning and tension where your hands are holding that belly up? Then exhale, tilt that pelvis under again, maybe even grab some more tissue from that lower abdomen area. Inhale, arch, arch, arch away. Feel the burning where your hands are holding some abdominal tissue. And let's do it one more time. Exhale, flatten the back. Allow the pelvis to tilt. Pull the tissue up. Last time, inhale, tilt it away. Yes, I have really good burning. I hope you do too. And then exhale, pull and flatten the back into a tilt. Good. Relax the hands. Gently let your hands go out to the side. Your hands are getting a little bit of workout today. Keep yourself right there. Let's just go through that motion of that tuck and tilt three times with breath, and then we're gonna add to opening up through that lower abdomen area. So lengthen your neck, settle your chin, keep your knees bent and your feet flat, hip distance for the lower extremity. Take an inhale, arch your back, allow your, your pelvis to tilt downward. 
And then as you exhale, flatten your belt, your back, and kind of tuck that tailbone under as you pull your pelvis up and under. Inhale, tilt it away. Get nice, good movement today, ladies and gentlemen. And then as you exhale, tuck and really allow that self, yourself to get into that pelvic tilt. One more time. Inhale, arch, 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 arch. Really open up, feeling that. And then as you exhale, tuck, 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 tuck. Very good. Now, we're going to do it all over again, but we're going to do it specifically to one side of the abdomen and then the other. So take both of your hands and kind of grab that right area of the abdomen. If you've got an old appendix scar, this is for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got problems with your colon, maybe some colitis, ileocecal valve issues, this is for you. Right ovary, maybe post hysterectomy scar, cesarean scar, all of it. This is for you. So gently allow your pelvis to tuck under a little bit. Get your hands into that lower abdominal issue, that tear, uh, abdominal tissue area. Pull it up, just like I'm doing. Pull it up. Now take an inhale here, and then on the exhale, slide that right leg down. Now, in this position, take that inhale and attempt to arch your back as you pull that tissue up. As you exhale, tuck that tailbone under. You've got it. Inhale, arch the back, pull the tissue towards your chest. And as you exhale, tuck under, tuck under, tuck under. One more time. I'm on a really good Bernie piece. Inhale, arch the back. And then as you exhale, tuck under, tuck under, tuck under. Beautiful. Release the tension of your hands. Take an inhale, slide that leg up, and then exhale, relax there. All right, just let the hands go for a minute, arms out to the side. Three tuck and tilts, just like we've been doing. So inhale, tilt the pelvis, arch the back, go nice and high. Exhale, allow yourself to tuck it under, flatten that back, really pull that up and in there. Again, inhaling, arching. Exhaling, tucking. One more breath, ladies and gentlemen. Inhaling, arching. And exhaling and tucking. Gorgeous. All right. Left side. So take your hands to the left side of that lower abdominal ish, uh, tissue. Grab a hold of it. Grab it between. You can pick it up with your fingers. You can pull your fingers in whatever suits your fancy. Now, give me a little bit of a tuck under. You may already feel burning. My left hip flexors are my nemesis, so I already feel this. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, slide that left leg down. Do you feel burning underneath your fingers? This is the descending colon, your sigmoid colon, your left ovary, uterus, if you've got it, maybe even some bladder, maybe even some jejunum of your small intestine. Pull all of that tissue up towards your chest. Are you ready to do the pelvic movements? All right, let's go. Inhale, tilt and arch the back. Exhale, tuck under, pull the tissue upward. Here we go. Inhale, tilt it away. Feel the burning as you do that. Exhale, tucking under. Let's do one more time. Inhale, tilting away, pulling that tissue upward and exhaling, tucking under. Very nice. Release the hands. Let go of it. Take an inhale and exhale as you slide that left leg up. Just rest the arms out to the side here. Three more tuck tilts before we get on to some muscle action. So take that inhale and tilt the tailbone and arch the back. And then as you exhale, flatten the back and tuck the tailbone under. Two more times here, inhaling as you arch and tilt. Exhaling as you really flatten that back and tuck. One more time, inhale, arching and tilting. 
and exhaling and flattening and tucking. Gorgeous. Now let go of the tuck and the flatten. Allow yourself to have just a little bit of space of your low back from the mat. So we don't want to be flattening our mat, our, our back fully here. Now let's go back to getting a nice, beautiful contraction through these lower abdominal muscles. So we're going to do this one leg at a time, really, because I want you to have more abdominal strengthening, more abdominal firing. So let's do this with the right leg first. So here's what I want you to do. Bring your right knee up towards your chest. Have your knee so it's slightly in front of the hip. Relax the, the knee down. Pull the toes up on that right foot. Now in that position, take your right hand to your right thigh. Left hand, bring it into that lower abdominal area. Start to push your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, can you feel that lower abdominal muscle start to engage? I hope you can. Now, as you continue pushing the hand into the knee and the knee into the hand, imagine again like you're lifting the hand upward in the Institute of Physical Art. We call that traction. Traction that leg up, really get a good contraction. Feel that whole lower abdominal muscle kind of working and starting to initiate. Allow yourself to take a deep inhale here and an exhale and an inhale and an exhale. Beautiful, relax. Pull the right knee to the chest, slide the left leg down. Take a deep inhale into your belly. Exhale, pull that right knee into the chest. Settle your shoulder blades back and down. Lengthen your neck, chin to your chest. All right, two deep diaphragmatic breaths here. So deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Left leg, inhale, slide it up. Exhale, relax the right foot to the floor. All right, left leg, let's do it. So take your left knee up towards your chest. Have your knee slightly closer to your chest than where your hip height is. Relax your knee, point your toes up towards the chest. Right hand, bring it down to that lower abdominal area so you can kind of feel. Right now, it probably feels pretty soft. Allow your left hand to come to the front of your left thigh and then begin to gently push the hand into the knee, the knee into the hand. By golly, I hope yours fully begins to contract in that lower abdominal area. Remember, you're pulling your fingertips and your hand upward as you kind of build that communication between your hip flexors and your lower abdominals. Now lengthen your neck, settle your chin here. Keep pushing, nice deep inhaling in and exhaling out one more breath deep inhale in and exhaling out beautiful slowly bring the left knee to the chest slide that right leg down your mat all right deep inhale into the belly exhale pull that knee into the chest now settle your shoulder blades down lengthen your neck settle your chin Give me the most beautiful two deep belly breaths you can. Really stretch out your low back. Everything in that lower abdominal area. Nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. One more nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. All right, right leg. Inhale, slide it up. Left leg, exhale, relax it down. And yet we are not done. So take your right knee back towards your chest. Stack that knee so that it's in front of the hip. Relax the foot and the knee down. Point the toes up towards the head. This time, use your left hand onto your right thigh. Take your right hand into your belly. Have your hand so that it looks like it's kind of like on the inside of your leg, not completely to the front of your leg. So it's kind of like your fingers are pointing up and away to the right. Now in this position, keep those right toes up. Start to push the hand into the knee, the knee into the hand. Feel those hip flexors and abdominal 
try to communicate with one another and really initiate. Keep gently pushing hand into knee, knee into hand, but you're also lifting upwards. Let's take a deep inhale into the belly here and exhaling out, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Beautiful, slowly pull the right knee back into your chest, left leg, slide it down. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, pull that knee into your chest. I want beautiful diaphragmatic belly breath. So lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. All right, left leg, inhale, slide it up. And exhale, right leg down to the floor. One more leg, one more to go. So take an inhale, bring that left leg up. Find the knee just in front of the hip height. Relax the knee, toes up towards the floor. Right hand to the left thigh. Again, a little bit to the inner part of the thigh. So it's like you're pushing up um, and away. Left hand, find that lower abdominal area. Let's go to town, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Allow yourself to push your hand into your knee, your knee into the hand, and lift those hands, the hand upward. Feel the contraction and all of those beautiful muscles happening of your lower abdomen as it connects with those hip flexors. Keep yourself right here. Nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Excellent. Relax the knee to the chest. Slide that right leg down. Boy, you are doing great today at really developing some balance of that lower abdominal area. So take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, pull the knee back into the chest. All right. Deep diaphragmatic breaths. Deep inhale, as low down into that belly as you can make it. And exhaling out. And inhaling in. And exhaling out. Taking an inhale, sliding the right leg up. Now on the exhale, pulling the right knee to your chest. Did you honestly think we were gonna end without not doing both of them together? Of course, right? So take your knees, make sure again that they're in front of your hips as far as alignment is concerned. Allow the knees to be relaxed, toes, point those up nice and high for me now. Now make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that your back is not pushing forcefully down into the mat. So if you've got a lot of tension in your hips, you might have your back flat onto the floor. Allow there to be a little bit of space in your low back. Now, we are gonna hold this one a little bit longer. It is our final hurrah, so let's really make it count, okay? Right hand, right thigh, left hand, left thigh. Shoulder blades back and down, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, maybe even gaze at your knees. Start to push the hands into the knees and the knees into the hands, that's it. Feel that lower abdominal area tensing and initiating as it's connecting with those hip flexors. Think about pulling those hands upward towards the ceiling. Now, nice deep inhale here and exhaling out. Three more breaths, deep inhale in and exhaling out. And deep inhale in, ladies and gentlemen. And exhaling out, oh, you can do it. Just a couple more seconds. Inhaling in and exhaling out. Take those knees to your chest and relax. Should we cross our arms? Oh, I think we should. All right, final, final hurrah, I promise. Knees, stack them. Drop the heels, point the toes, Right hand, left thigh, left hand, right thigh. 
make it for everything you've got. Give yourself the strongest lower abdominal back pelvis that you can give yourself at home. Gently begin to push the hands into the knees, the knees into the hands. Make sure that low back is not forcing down onto the floor. Then start to lift the fingertips up as you get that little bit of traction, that pulling upwards. Oh, you might have fabulous shag shaking happening. All right, let's do this. Four breaths, inhaling in and exhaling out. Inhaling in, maybe can you smile? Exhaling out. Two more times, inhaling in. Exhaling out. Final breath, inhaling in and exhaling out. And oh, ladies and gentlemen, pulling your knees to your chest and relaxing here. Now settle your neck, settle your chin. Shoulder blades are back and down. Make sure your feet are not crossed, they're hip distance apart. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Let's get to that diaphragmatic breath, shall we? A nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Inhaling in. And exhaling out. Do one more real good one for me. Inhaling in. Slowly letting the right foot come down to the floor. Keep that left knee to your chest. Slowly sliding that right leg all the way down. Now take a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, just gently push the right foot into the floor. Get a little bit of opening for all of that that you've worked today. Holding that for an inhale and an exhale. And then when you're ready, just drop that left foot onto the right knee. Right hand comes out to the outside of that left knee and left hand bring it out to the side of your body. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, pull that knee across and then start to pull that pelvis up. Start to pull that low back up. Start to pull that rib cage up. But keep that left shoulder blade on the floor. And then lengthen your neck, settle your chin, turn your gaze towards those left, the left thumb, left fingers. Let's get two really beautiful, deep diaphragmatic breaths here. Nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. And let's do that again. Nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Slowly bring in your head back up to the center, slowly letting that rib cage come back down. And then the low back. And then the pelvis. And then very slowly unrotating that left hip, placing the left foot on the floor, sliding the right leg up, taking the right knee to the chest. Nice deep inhale here. And then as you hug, pull that right knee into the chest. Let's do a nice open of that left hip flexor one more time. So take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, slide that left leg down. Now take a moment for all of that left side to open. Start to gently push the left leg into the floor. You should feel your glute engage here. And take a deep inhale into your belly and an exhale into. And then just gently placing the right foot onto the left thigh. Hand is already holding the, the right knee, but bring it to the outside of the right knee and gently bring the arm out to the side of you on the right. Nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, pull the knee across first, followed by the pelvis, followed by the low back, followed by the rib cage, keeping that right shoulder blade down. Lengthen the neck, settle the chin, turn the gaze towards that right thumb and the fingers. Holding right here, nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more breath, nice deep inhale in. 
and exhaling out. Gently bringing your head back to the center, starting at that right rib cage, slowly derotating the rib cage down, the low back down, the pelvis down, and then begin to unrotate that right hip. Place the right foot on the floor, slide the left leg up, bring that left knee to your chest, bring that right knee to your chest. Pull your knees nice and tight into your chest. Give yourself a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hug in nice and close. You wanna do a little bit for your nervous system and your upper body here. Lengthen your neck, tuck your chin, pull your chin into your chest. How close can you lift yourself up to get the crown of your head towards your knees? Taking a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, dropping the rib cage down first. Slowly keeping that neck flexed and then gently lengthening the neck and then finally letting that chin go. <sighs> dropping the right foot to the floor, dropping the left foot to the floor. Now, if you would like today, you can go with sliding your legs to each corner of the mat for Savasana or challenge yourself to maybe repeat that Supta Baddha Konasana or that opening up of your legs, but doing it very kindly and very gently if you're going to. So bringing your feet to touch one another, please place your hands over the, sit, over the hip pointer area, guide the legs gently out to the side. So just feel that left hip pointer if you're going to do this with me, take a gentle inhale here, and then exhale, slowly, gently guiding that right knee out, allowing it to go without tension. Holding the right hip pointer, nice deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly guiding that left leg out, finding that point where there's no tension. And then in this position, feeling that gentle opening feeling no tension through your back. If you are feeling tension through your back here, really allow yourself to kind of settle your tailbone under, letting your arms come out to the side. One last set of diaphragmatic breath here. Deep inhale into your belly. And then exhaling out. Inhaling into your belly. And then exhaling out. Now as we rest in this Savasana today, I want you to take maybe a, a little anatomical journey with me. I want you to kind of tune into your lower abdomen area over your pelvis. Picture where your left hip pointer is and where your right hip pointer is. And then picture where if you went all the way down and into the center, the lowest area, there is a pubic bone there, a bone at the very bottom of your pelvis in the front. And joining the left hip pointer in that pubic bone is a very rigid, strong, ligament called your inguinal ligament, like a tightrope. And joining your right hip pointer and that right pubic bone is a strong ligament called your inguinal ligament on the right side, just like a tightrope. Your hip flexors slide underneath those tight ropes. On top of those tight ropes or above those tight ropes, on the right side is your appendix and your cecum and your ascending colon begins. At that left hip pointer above that tight rope, you've got your descending colon and your sigmoid. And go to the very center of the lower abdomen Come just above that pubic bone. Right underneath your skin, you've got a beautiful sheath of fascia. It's like a sheet of connective tissue. And then directly underneath that, you've got that 
beautiful lower abdominal muscle that we train today. Then directly underneath that, you've got this most beautiful balloon called your bladder. And then directly beneath that, going closer towards the floor, you have your uterus, if you still have your uterus, if you are a female, that is. And then going directly below that, right in front of your sacrum bone, you've got your rectum. All of that we some way, somehow worked today. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. And very slowly on your exhale, gently bring your knees back together. Very, very slowly. Allow yourself just to kind of rock your knees side to side for a moment. And then when you feel like you're ready, slowly roll yourself over onto your side. Take a nice deep inhale here and an exhale. And then on your next good strong exhale, using the hand and the elbow and pushing yourself up into a seated positioning, finding yourself sitting back to easy pose, but this time without the bolster. Hands are to the heart, smiles are on the face. Nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. <sighs> Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs>